Good afternoon. Uh, this is a box that I did. I found it's pretty amazing the way it came together. Um, so this is a box for a 10 to 14 year old girl, hopefully an artist. Uh, so every year I do a couple art artists boxes. Um, so this is one of this year's. So um, even well, after I had decided I was going to do an artist box, this shoe box was dropped off at church for OCC. So, as you can see, it's a super cool box. I love it. It's just amazing. And since it had girls all over it, I decided I would use it for a girl's art box. It also has alligators, but whatever. Um, and then... I had found some clearance items, uh, some canvases uh, that I picked up, and it just kind of went from there. And then I found this really cool shirt. So this is what she sees when you open the box. So I found the shirt at Hot Topic, which isn't a place I always go, but I was looking for some Lilo and Stitch and Little Mermaid things for some other boxes. And they always have some good things for the older teens. And I found this shirt there on the clearance rack. Um, so I hope you can see. So it's a tiger. Um, it's got some... I think it's Japanese. Pretty sure it's Japanese on it. Um, I thought that was a super cool artistic sort of shirt. So then the art box became an art and big cat's box. <laughs> Which actually I thought was a really good theme for a uh, older girl, so here we go. So, um, the shirt only cost me a dollar because the clearance was buy one get one for a dollar. Um, so I picked that up. And then I found uh, tiger socks at Walmart. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be men's or women's, but they look small enough that they could be women's. It's not a great distance to the heel, so I put those in. A uh, little wallet with a mirror, the leopard or cheetah, I'm not sure, print on it. Everything in here was on clearance or donated, so I didn't pay full price for anything. So if it looks like a lot of stuff, no, not really, because everything was like a dollar or less except for the paints. So. It, and the pencil set, you'll see when we get here. So this little makeup bag um, was a thrift store find. It's perfectly clean inside. I find a lot of people get the mail order cosmetics and then they just drop off the bags there. So I get the bags at one of my stores cheap. Uh, some beads and then a couple little baggies so she can put them in it once she opens it. Markers. And she has a pair of Leopard print shoes. These were just a buck. They're just fun. I know they're not real practical shoes. Um, and then I filled them up. Uh, so we've got one pair of underwear. There's more underwear running around here somewhere. A pair of sushi socks. I mean, because every girl needs sushi socks. And this little mini tiger. Beanie. I can't remember what they call them when they're the little round ones, but yep. Okay, so one shoe. Other shoe, we have another tiger. This one's actually a flip -a zoo So he's a turtle on the other side. <laughs> Any fun. All right, so she got a couple little stuffed guys there to play with. Um, and then a set of bracelets. I picked this one out because it matches her shirt. So see, it's like, it is the same colors. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, there's her bracelets, and then there's some embroidery floss um, for making more bracelets. Another pair of socks. I tried to pick one that it matches the shirt like really well. I mean, this box just totally came together. I love it. Um, so another pair of socks. Uh, bouncy ball, which it's not exactly tiger stripes, but it it was close. 
a globe just because I thought she needed another toy. So these are from Dollar Tree's teacher supply section. I mean, plus if she's going to be a world renowned artist, she's got to know where she's going when she travels, right? So we got some soap still in the package just in case for this year. Another pair of underwear. Another pair of underwear. Another pair of underwear. A bra, which I tried to tuck in over on one side. It's just a real basic t-shirt bra. Uh, I think this is Fruit of the Loom. Um, Walmart was getting rid of that brand this summer of 2021, so they were down to a dollar. Um, sometimes even 50 cents because they were too fat for a dollar. She has an umbrella. This is just something that I like to pick up when I can. Um, because lots of countries use them for shade. So not just for rain. So I'm not worried about where it's going. This one's an automatic open. It was funny when I got it. It was Velcroed shut. And then I went to rewrap it and it like poof on me. And I'm like, ah! So somebody must push the button in the store. Um, yeah. So an umbrella. Just because it was a dollar and it's useful. Scissors with tiger stripes on them. Those were from Craft Warehouse, which is a small chain here on the West Coast. Glow in the dark stars, just because. Some little mermaid and unicorn sketch art. Some color scent, color scents markers. Um, so. They smell yummy. They're from the Sentos company, same. So, she's got, um, I thought it said what flavor it was, but it doesn't. So, a couple of those. There's a jump rope. Dental floss. There's a toothbrush in here somewhere. Um, some big cats and an elephant. <laughs> Toys. Gonna go with the cat theme there. Uh, UB pencil case. These I got from a fellow teacher who got a donation for a classroom and she had way too many. So these little slider cases. They came halfway filled and then I filled it up the rest of the way. So she has a grand assortment of pens and pencils. Uh, just all different kinds. Glue stick. Some fun erasers and some not so fun erasers. A little tiger lenticular. Sharpener. What else we got in here? More pencils, more pens. Tiny little set of crayons that came with the box. Tiny little set of markers that came with the box. Well, she's got other markers. Maybe I'll save those for a different one. Um, some smelly erasers. Smell like chocolate. And what else is in here? Oh, a small ruler. So that was in here. Here's her paint set. Isn't that cool? I love it. So it was on clearance. Uh, it was regularly a $10 set. I think I got it for four something. I can't remember. Uh, Craft Warehouse. It's got 48 colors. 48. Isn't that cool? Oh! That just reminded me, I need brushes, don't I? It only comes with one. I want to add more than one. So I'll add more brushes. All right, then she has a sketchbook. And these are canvases. It's a three pack. Those were all on clearance. Well, the sketchbook's from Dollar Tree. They're just a buck. What? Hold on, the weight is taking the box off. Let me get everything out here and close it up. Slide it to the edge here. All right, so we have some envelopes so she can send letters. There's that toothbrush. Picture of myself in a note. Some more stickers, or maybe that's the first set of stickers. Stickers, stickers. And then we got a regular school notebook. coloring book. This was one of the first things that I got also. So 
with the big old lion on the front that kind of inspired the big cat theme. And then I went to my stash and found some other things. And like I said, I found the shirt. Then I bought the socks and it's kind of went from there. A little fuzzy poster for Christmas. This was in a box, but I took it out. Um, so this is a set of colored pencils with a little instruction book on how to shade different colors. Um, so that's pretty neat, I thought. So a little art lesson there. It's got three lessons in it on how to get fancy. All right. And so that is what I have here for the 10 to 14 year old girl in an art and big cats theme. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And thank you for watching. Oh, and Zelda, my cat around here, says hi. <laughs> have a good afternoon.